there, it's Caroline Harland again. I am back to talk to you a little bit more about detox and thinking about detox in a different way. So when I open up my front door or I walk through my house, I really try to evaluate all those things that I can do to protect and to prevent um, toxins from getting into my space. In the first video, I shared with you one of the number one things that I do with my kids to prevent um, toxins getting inside the house as much as possible, and that is when we walk in the door, we wash our hands. In many cases, it re really is that simple. Um, we leave our shoes in our mudroom and or in your laundry room or somewhere by your front door, and we um, wash our hands, and that leaves so much of what we can bring into the house um, um, washes it right down the drain. So we don't have to deal with a lot of what um, could come our way in the ways of you know, colds and flus and things like that because we are preventing a lot of that from entering into the house when we wash our hands when we walk in the door. I highly recommend that you think about taking your shoes off and putting on some sort of house shoe when you get it inside your house. Um, because then you're not tracking all of that material, dirt, germs through your house, making sure that you're doing everything you can do to keep your floors clean and you're not dragging all of that through through the, the contents of your house. Again, one of the things that I really like to do is to go through my house and let me just kind of go through my room to room analysis of what I think can cause us a problem from a um, toxin perspective in our home. Um, the first one and one of the most important ones is change your air filters. So your air filter in your home uh, should be changed at a minimum every six months. I like to change mine every three months because I don't want to bring, I don't want to breathe in all that stuff. I live in the desert. We are, it's a very dry environment. There's a lot of dust. There's a lot of dirt, especially at the end of certain seasons when it's particularly high. Well, that gets into our filtration system in the house, all of our vents and everything. Those filters should be white or very close to it. And you will see after six months when you pull those filters out, they are going to be gray, brown, dirty, um, and it, you would otherwise be breathing all of that in if you didn't have those filters in there. So you don't n need to even go with the expensive ones. As long as you're changing them regularly, you actually can get away with buying the cheaper brand. So moving on to uh, the next part of the house, I want to bring up something that has become really popular in um, recently, even more so, I don't even know if I would say recently, in the last 10 years, is using artificial fragrance in your house. I can't tell you how opposed I am to using plugins and artificial fragrances that especially um, you're putting in your outlets and dispersing in your house. Um, in the earlier video, we talked about artificial fragrances being one of the top 10 most dangerous ingredients in beauty products. Well, this goes for home products as well. So 3000 plus chemicals can make up um, any number of fragrances and we're plugging those chemicals in and we're putting um, batteries in units to disperse this chemical um, in our space and we're breathing that in and the effects of those really are not all the way known but what we do know is that it's artificial and if you want to have fragrance in your home you can do it many different ways and one of them is by diffusing essential oils um, organics has wonderful essential oils that um, come in many different varieties and you can use for many different purposes and I use essential oils and I diffuse them so I get the wonderful smell in my house that I want but I'm not um, kind of poisoning my family in the process and I think that that is one of the biggest things that you can do um, to stop using artificial fragrances and spraying them in our homes or uh, plugging them in or even you have to be wary of certain candles those fragrances in most cases are artificial and you have to really be cognizant of what you're buying if you're going to be um, dispersing that if you're smelling it it's going through your house it's going in your lungs it's going in your eyes and your kids and your animals are being exposed to that as well so I would strongly recommend that you um, 
not if you can't stop all the way you definitely limit your exposure to those chemicals as much as possible and that goes for your car too um, putting artificial fragrances in your car now you're in an even smaller confined space and you're breathing that really in um, through your vent systems and and whatnot i would um, strongly recommend that you um, stop using those as as quickly as possible throw them in the garbage can if you can